Okay, yeah, uh, I'm in the middle of uh, experimenting with this uh, PC game in uh, Wine, and I'm running Arch Linux. Uh, so obviously I'm running Wine. Um, so in Star Wars: The Old Republic, the online uh, game. I don't know much about the game at all, but I know some people that are interested in getting this to run. Uh, it's uh, right now I've got it to the point where I can download the. Uh, the latest patch, which is huge, uh, it's on par with something like uh, StarCraft 2 or something, or uh, maybe, yeah, World of Warcraft probably, um, in the 20 gigs or so, it's close to that. And uh, I had to create a separate uh, partition on another hard drive uh, because this was uh, so huge. So it's coming down. Um, sometimes this will time out and give me a network error. Sometimes I have an error logging in, uh, but um, if this is successful, um, I'll go through the steps of um, how I'm getting this to work. And it's uh, pretty much following what's on on the Wine uh, HQ in the uh, discussion. Okay, uh, the uh, good news is it's it runs. Uh, I just tried it out. I I still don't know any. I don't know anything at all about this game. Uh, I had to put this into uh, windowed mode at uh, 1024 by 768. However, I was able to run it in full screen, 1920 by 1080, and I cranked up the graphics and everything seemed okay. Uh, so I finished my character creation and just whatever randomly selected because. Um, I just want main thing is to uh, get through this. So, um, you hit play. I purposely turned off the uh, music uh, just to avoid any kind of um, violations <laughs> on uh, YouTube. And I have no idea if this is a normal loading time. It seems to be loading fairly quick, though. And press spacebar to continue okay uh, unfortunately I <laughs> the text is so small I can't uh, I can't see but uh, new graphic settings are available recalibrate so anyway so I guess the uh, cinematic press and escape and W S A D to run around. I guess you get uh, missions. There's uh, tutorials, etc. And close window. Anyway, that's irrelevant. Uh, the the good thing is it works and it seems you're running well. Now, apparently, if, um, I'm not going to try it. Well, if you hover over the map at the bottom right and you select something, uh, apparently it freezes the game. Uh, supposed to be a bug in wine. I don't know if it's fixed, but uh, that's unfortunate. So avoid hovering down the bottom right and clicking on something where it's highlighted on the map. That's what I've read so far. So the um, installation process is quite a bit more involved. Uh, it's a lot of trial and error and uh, you have to be really, really patient, and I've been at this for a few days now. Um, a lot of it's spending uh, downloading time, but uh, also experimenting with what commands work and what uh, what don't. So, uh, let's get on to the uh, next section where uh, hopefully you can get this running, and uh, you can play this game in uh, all its glory in uh, Linux and. As I mentioned earlier, this is uh, Arch Linux. All right, so let's get started uh, with uh, installing the Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, here are the notes I made. And uh, first of all, we have to take uh, create the uh, wine architecture, 32-bit, and the prefix to tell it where it would be. Now, in my case, I'm I'm using a solid-state drive, so <clears throat> I didn't have enough room, and as I mentioned earlier, I had to make a uh, partition off another hard drive, so I can install this game. And uh, 
What you do is uh, obviously environment, the wine architecture, it's 32-bit, the prefix, again, where you installed game. Now you can leave this as a uh, home and then your username if you have enough space on your main drive. And then usually it's dot wine. You can just take out the dot so it's not hidden, but I like to have it hidden. And then whatever you want to call this, um, just a acronym, short form, S-W-T-O-R. And then wine tricks and get these files. Now to uh, show you how that would work, I would just have to change this to say two. So I'll just uh, take this line and I'll copy it. Open the terminal and paste that in. And this will create a new prefix Win32 environment in this directory here, uh, SWTOR2. So press enter and it will go out and call uh, out for uh, the um, various things I'm asking wine tricks to download. So the Microsoft Visual C++ 2008 next install it and just give it some time to install. So now if I open uh, the home folder and here's the other drive here data now you see that the new environment has been created this is the one I was using to run the uh, Star Wars game and this is the new one we just had so you open that and it has just a basic Windows um, installation okay um, next thing obviously if you don't have it downloaded the uh, links here and we go to the uh, Star Wars site and where it says download now and it's just this file here setup.exe okay so I have that downloaded, so I'm going to cancel that. But make sure you have it. It's uh, 37.9 megabytes. Now go to your downloads folder, and I'm going to have to change this here to the two as well because I don't want to overwrite what I've already done. So I'll copy that and uh, go to our home directory. And my case is in downloads, and here's the setup file. So again, open a terminal here if you have that, or just change to that directory and paste that command in. And press enter. And it's asking you the usual stuff next. And accept the license agreement next. And just choose express install. And it says space required 25 gigs. Next, uh, do not um, make sure you uncheck play this now <laughs> and then click finish. Sometimes this doesn't load, so I'm unload, so just press control C. Okay, so we've already set up the base um, installation for Star Wars. Now you have to change directory to where you have that prefix, and we'll just copy this. So I'll just paste that in, we'll change to that directory. And you see, uh, it's like a, the Windows Drive program files, Electronics Arts, Electronic Arts, Bioware, Star Wars, The Old Republic. Okay. Now, once you're in there, uh, specify the architecture and the wine prefix again, and then launcher.exe at the end in, in quotes. Highlight the whole thing, copy, paste that in, and hopefully you'll see this here. Um, now, if you you have to create an account on uh, your Knights of the Old Republic um, on the site. Very simple. Just uh, create a display name and a password, and you can ask it to remember your username and stuff. So I'm not sure if this will work because I already have an account. So, All right, so uh, you may have to do this a couple of times trying to log in. And finally, you should get to the uh, end user license agreement and... You have to scroll down and read it. And then here you have to check these two. And then accept. Now it says initializing download fatal error driver support exiting. So while we're still not to uh, open uh, terminal, we'll just do a list out. And uh, launcher.settings is the file you need. Uh, so 
whatever you're using G Edit or whatever Nano. I'm going to use Leafpad, and then I'll just copy that name there. Copy and make sure I spell Leafpad right first, though. <laughs> and then paste that in. Press Enter. Now it's using a torrent type of service called Bit Bitrate. And it says patching mode here, BR, bit rate. Um, we have to change that to uh, a different value. And it's SSN. So SSN. Uh, control S to save or file save and then quit. Now we can try that again, the uh, launcher. All right, so give it a little bit of time. And at the bottom here, um it's uh you can see that it's downloading so i'm going to cancel out of here i'm going to exit this because it's already been downloaded in my uh other wine prefix area so just exit and i'll ask you and by the way um you, if you like 20 uh 5 gigs or whatever it is to download you know can take you a long time and if you want to exit um, you can and just run the um, this last command line again and it'll, it will resume downloading okay okay so finally uh, if you've gotten this far and uh, it's uh, finally patched up there's one more thing you have to do and uh, thanks to this person I'll put this uh, link in the description on uh, the wine HQ is uh, they made a nice uh, script for you um, that works uh, for me anyway it worked really well so I'll open this uh, link in a new tab and take a look at it and if you want you can hover over one of these icons and it's this one to copy and then just it, just copy and paste that into a blank text file and then make it executable what I mean is you can type in the terminal uh, chmod plus x and then the name of the file, whatever you want to call it. You can call it SWTOR launch or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so he's got some comments in here. And basically all you have to do is take the script that you made from here that you made executable and copied into where you installed uh, Star Wars. And the other things it does is it gets a fix. If, if you don't have that there, it will download it for you. And it will download uh, other Windows stuff that might be needed. Okay, so it might might take a while to download something like uh, DirectX 9. I think it's the uh, Redist uh, 2010 version. Uh, once it downloads, uh, the game should start. And then you can you can go from there and uh, uh, set your graphic settings. You can run it in winded mode, as you saw, or as I said, you can run it in full screen mode. Uh, the reason I couldn't record the full screen is because my video card for some AD, AMD, ATI AMD, uh, will not record if it's not OpenGL. I tried, but it didn't uh, seem to take it. So otherwise, I would have shown you the uh, full screen. So just a quick look here. Unfortunately, I can't really show you the. Uh, I can't show the exact process, but you go to your wherever your wine prefix 32-bit where it's installed, um, and here it is here. So I just you call this anything you want, but if you go to properties, you'll see that it says permissions is allow allow this file to run as a program or you can do a command line in the ch mod and it's the same thing so I'll open this with a text editor and it's the same thing that we just saw all you do is run that uh, the launcher that we saw previously for Star Wars will open up after it's downloaded uh, what it needs such as the Microsoft uh, runtime and uh, DirectX and etc. and then you should be able to log in and play the game. I hope. 
Now this is uh, in Arch Linux. I don't. I I assume this should work in other distributions. If not, I'm sorry. I'm not really too sure about it. And uh, go. Make sure you go to this wiki. Um, that's just one here. There's lots and lots and lots of. Uh, okay, here's a bunch of error code here. Just page down. There's lots of tips and stuff how to uh, get this running. This is where I got most of the information from. And even how to make a... It's here somewhere. Desktop shortcut. And some little tricks and stuff. And it seems to work. So anybody out there that's been trying to run Star Wars, the Old Republic in um, Linux without crossover, uh, just using wine um, it looks like you can but uh, just it's a lot of trial and error and a lot of uh, time waiting for it to download and just be patient uh, just keep trying it okay so uh, that sums this up and uh, I hope this helps you out uh, I'll try to answer any questions you have but uh, uh, the best thing is to look at the wiki okay so thanks so much for watching have a good one and uh, happy gaming and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.